Hello, this is Nelson Virgil, author of a book, Testosterone, A Man's Guide, Practical Tips for Boosting Physical, Mental, and Sexual Vitality. After this lecture, you can email me if you have any questions to nelsonvirgil at gmail.com. You can also find more information on the website testosteronewisdom.com or by typing the two keywords, testosterone replacement, on Facebook. This is a table of contents of the book. I will not be able to cover all of them in this video, but I provide in the book a introduction to testosterone, what it is, uh, how to diagnose uh, testosterone deficiency, the symptoms, um, causes of testosterone deficiency, the different replacement options, testosterone replacement by injection, gels, and other uh, products, uh, how to monitor testosterone, what the different blood uh, tests um, and physical tests that your doctor has to do to follow you and to make sure that uh, you don't have side effects and if you do, how to manage them. Uh, what happens when you uh, use testosterone replacement and yet you do not find uh, benefits to it? Uh, there are different options for that too. Supplements, uh, I review supplements that claim to improve sexual function or testosterone. Um, also in chapter six, I include uh, tips, health uh, tips, uh, including nutritional um, interventions, exercise, and other supplements that could also support healthy testosterone blood levels. Also have an interview uh, with Dr. Michael Scali, one of the world's renowned um, experts on testosterone replacement, about his views on this uh, important hormone. This is a medical history form that you can use to help your doctor uh, diagnose uh, testosterone um, deficiency. There's also Appendix B, it's a resource and patient assistance program appendix uh, that shows you how to apply for free testosterone products. There are frequently asked questions about compounding pharmacies, what they mean. Uh, these are compounding um, pharmacies that actually produce uh, testosterone gels and injections um, based on your own needs. How to find a physician who treats uh, testosterone deficiency, which is called hypogonadism. A, director, a directory of testosterone uh, studies enrolling right now in the United States and some more information on, on products that are available in the market. What are the signs and symptoms of low testosterone? First of all, uh, lack of sex drive or libido, erectile dysfunction, loss of lean body mass and strength, depression, uh, low mood, fatigue, uh, lack of mental focus, bone loss, some regression of sexual, secondary sexual characteristics like body hair loss, etc. in men, um, decrease in uh, sperm count and uh, sperm production, there are different questionnaires that doctors use to diagnose testosterone deficiency, also called hypogonadism. Some use the ADAM, the androgen deficiency in the aging male questionnaire. Others use the Massachusetts male aging study uh, questionnaire. And others use the aging male survey. There's really no agreement on which one is the best. Um, all these surveys include basic questions on uh, sexual function, energy levels, mood, etc. What are the benefits of testosterone replacement in men that have low testosterone and start uh, either gels, injections, or any of the other products currently available in the United States? <coughs> First one is sexual function. The sexual desire improves. Erectile function improves in many cases. Um, lean body mass increases in those that, especially in those that have lost lean body mass due to testosterone deficiency. Mental focus improves. Uh, strength, uh, stamina, and bone strength tend to also improve. Fat mass also tends to decrease in some cases. And uh, once testosterone reaches the bloodstream, it is um, found in three different fractions. The first one is free testosterone, which is the smallest uh, fraction at 2% is the testosterone fraction that actually does the work when it comes to all the benefits. The albumin bound testosterone is a protein bound testosterone that is um, stored for later use. And the sex hormone binding globulin bound testosterone which is uh, testosterone bound to a globulin, a protein that does not allow it to do its work in the body. As we age, SHBG goes up. Uh, illness also increases SHBH and other factors that I cover in the book. There's more information on this on testosteronewisdom.com. 
As we age, testosterone uh, decreases, uh, both total and free testosterone. I will be speaking about those two tests really soon. And as you can tell in the red graph, uh, sex hormone binding globulin goes up, which also attaches to testosterone, and it does not allow it to do its work in the body. Testosterone deficiency, we can diagnose it doing blood tests after your doctor performs the different questionnaires and realizes that you do have the symptoms. Um, there's a total testosterone blood level test and a free testosterone blood level test. Uh, some doctors do one or the other, some use two. There's really no agreement, although some studies show that free testosterone is probably the most uh, important test in diagnosing testosterone deficiency. Men and women have testosterone. Women need testosterone for the same reasons as men do, although their bodies uh, produce a, a lot smaller amounts of the hormone uh, through their ovaries and uh, adrenal glands. Uh, the causes of low testosterone blood levels uh, could be you could be born with a problem um, in producing the hormone. You could have uh, your testicles may be failing on how they work. Uh, you could have also uh, the problem due to the way your hormonal cascade is working, is uh, deficiency, dysfunction of that cascade in your body. I, will, I speak a lot more about it in the book. Uh, disease, including HIV infection, cancer, other diseases can also lower testosterone. Normal aging, as I said before, there's some medications that could also cause low testosterone in some drugs and uh, excessive alcohol. There's a lot more information on all of this in the book Testosterone Man's Guide, available on testosteronewisdom.com and amazon.com. There are different testosterone uh, replacement options for those that want to start testosterone after being diagnosed of having uh, hypogonadism. The first one is injections, um, the cheapest and the most commonly used option in the United States. Uh, the second one is gels. In the United States right now, we have testing and androgel, two different um, gels that are applied to the skin uh, for the testosterone to absorb through the skin uh, and replay and increase uh, blood levels. We have the patches, number three. Uh, number four are creams made by compounding pharmacies. And number five are testosterone pellets that are implanted under the skin. I speak in detail about all these options and uh, my own experiences using all of them in the book. Injection, injections, um, there are different types of injections, the propionate, cepionate, and enthate. There will be a new product coming out uh, in the United States soon called Avid or Nebido in Europe, uh, which is a long-lasting testosterone uh, injection. And I go through all details in the book and also in testosteronewisdom.com. As we inject, uh, the testosterone blood levels go up uh, dramatically within the first two days and then they come down again. <clears throat> In some cases, uh, by the 10th day, testosterone tends to go back to baseline. Uh, that is why it's important to have a doctor check your blood levels of testosterone a month after you start uh, replacing testosterone to see whether or not um, your blood levels are adequate after uh, injecting for a few weeks. When you use testosterone gels on the skin, blood levels tend to be more um, constant, not uh, so many ups and downs and peaks and valleys like the injections, um, which makes it uh, sometimes a desirable option in many cases. Uh, these are gels that you can use every day on the skin instead of the testosterone injections, which are used every week or two weeks. There are potential side effects. Testosterone has a lot of benefits, but also could have side effects, especially in patients that are prone to having them. Um, not, these are really minority of patients that actually have side effects. I've used testosterone myself since 1993 without any side effects. Uh, gynecomastia is increase of breast tissue in men uh, caused by the conversion of testosterone into estrogen. So men tend to have more of this problem for different reasons that I speak about in the book. Incre increase brought pressure also due to water retention and other issues. The most important one is polycythemia, which is uh, testosterone actually increases the production of red blood cells, which could actually make the blood very sticky and, and cause uh, cardiovascular uh, problems like heart attacks or strokes in some patients that are not monitored for, um, to measure their blood, red blood cells. 
acne could also be caused by one of the metabolites of testosterone and DHT. I, did, I talk a little bit about it in, in the book on how to prevent that. Uh, testicular atrophy, which is shrinkage of the testicles, which could also be managed by uh, the use of another product that I speak about in the book called HCG. Benign prostatic hypertrophy or inflammation of the prostate uh, in a benign way could also be a problem in those that already have the problem um, before starting testosterone replacement. And doctors run different blood tests to make sure that you, you're okay, you're not having side effects, and if you do have side effects, how to uh, monitor and, and manage them. Uh, the com com complete metabolic panel includes liver function tests, lipids, iron, etc., the cell blood count, which includes hemoglobin, hematocrit, red blood cells. As I spoke, uh, as I said before, it's a very important uh, variable to to monitor. Total testosterone, free testosterone, LH, FSH, and different other hormones, including uh, also prostatic specific antigen and um, sex uh, hormone binding globulin. More details in the book and in the website. Uh, for those that have prostatic cancer, breast cancer, uh, severe benign prostatic hyperplasia, uh, polycythemia at baseline, even severe sleep apnea that is not being treated with a CPAP machine or a congestive heart failure. I put two question marks on those two last items because doctors are now prescribing uh, testosterone to men that have had heart attacks or are using currently using a CPAP machine. And this is the homepage of the website, testosteronewisdom.com. You can find a book, a book excerpt. You can read the first 20 pages of the book. You can order the book in many ways. Uh, have resources on how to find a doctor, um, my calendar, uh, lecture calendar, and you can become a member to my mailing list. And I also do consultations um, that you can sign up uh, for on the website. These are different, uh, have 10 different book purchasing options on testosteronewisdom.com. You can buy the book on Amazon.com in a print uh, format or Kindle format. You can buy it directly from me on PayPal. Um, you can also download it on Amazon Kindle on your computer, on your iPhone, Blackberry, iPad, and Android. Lulu uh, is also an ebook uh, wholesaler, and Nook is another. Um, a uh, reader from Barnes & Noble is also available. It's also, um, I didn't fail to mention here, it's also available on iPhone, uh, an iPad, uh, via iBooks.com. And for orders outside the United States, you can mail um, a bank or check or money order to this address.